Dan Perkins, cover crop guy, Jasper County, Indiana. It's September 16th and we're in a cornfield that's soon going to be ready to harvest. Um, this is one of the cornfields that actually fared fairly well in our area, given our rain amount. So the ears look pretty good. We're on really well-drained soil. And I want to zoom down in here and this is typically what we'd see in a, um, a vertical till, no-till field, some residue. We got some weeds coming through since our corn didn't close up as normal. But what I want to just do is pan over to here, which, no, this is not fall panicum. This is not some weed out of control. This, in my opinion, is the next wave in agriculture, is this idea of interceding cover crop, select species at side dress time, corn is knee high, it goes dormant, it establishes itself, and then the corn grows, we get our cash crop, and boom, this stuff is growing, corn is no longer taking up nutrients or water, and we have a nice green field to harvest on, and we go from there. So as crazy as this looks, this is what's next, and it's really exciting, and, and I can't stress how how important it is that we do replicated research, which this field is, and that we try this out on many farms across many soil types, many weather systems to really see, and many herbicide programs, that's the big question, to make this work. Because I think if we can make systems like this work, we don't need environmental regulation because our water quality problems, as research is showing, cover crops cut nitrogen phosphorus loss by anywhere from 30 to 60 percent. That meets our nutrient reduction goals in a lot of states. Um, so let's, let's let farmers figure this out because we can do it right and everyone benefits. Dan Perkins, cover crop guy, showing you success.